Today I'd like to show you how to do some zone editing in Kurzweil 3000. Now if you noticed, I've already opened up a file and uh, you can see it's just a page out of the glossary of the back of a textbook. So what I want to do is I want to check to see what Kurzweil is going to read. So the first thing I do is go to the scan menu and zone editor. You'll notice that all of these boxes are yellow. You can also have two other colors you'll see a blue box and that would be for a graphic or a green box which is secondary text. And the difference between the yellow which is primary and the green which is secondary I'll just show you what it looks like if I go to properties I can change this to secondary text okay. you'll notice it turns green um, that means that it won't read automatically and basically what Kurzweil will do is it'll only read it if you actually click in it okay. so it's, sometimes that's really good for sidebars in a textbook that kind of thing but I want to show you how to uh, delete zones, add zones, and adjust what you're seeing. So first of all, I'm going to click on this because I don't need Kurzweil to read that. I can use the right mouse button and delete the zone. That's one way to do it. Let's go down to the bottom of the page. I have another one here. The other th thing I can do is just click on it, and on my keyboard, I can just press the delete key itself. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So it's relatively simple to get rid of a zone. And if I decide I want that back, all I have to do is right click and go to add zone. And when I draw it around, you'll notice when I click off to the side that it turns green because that's the last thing that I used. So very easy to change. Again, click on it. The zone properties box comes up. If it doesn't, then you can click on it and right click and go to properties. The other way is just to press the letter P and that'll bring that up. So if I change it to primary text and I click OK, now it becomes yellow again. You notice that the number four is there. So if I didn't want that, again, I'm just going to press a P. I could change it. Maybe I want it to be the very first thing. Click OK. All right. So again, right click, add your zone, pull it around, make sure it's either primary or secondary, whatever you, des you decide. If it's the wrong size, you can click on it and go to adjust zone. You notice it turns white, the, there's a black line, and your mouse changes shape depending on where you are. You notice two arrows when I'm on the side, and here if I just want to move the whole thing, I could do that. So if I wanted to make it smaller, I would go to wherever I wanted to adjust it and just grab it with the mouse and pull it around whatever I want. Click off to the side when you're done. Okay. So adding, changing, okay, changing the number, and deleting. And that's how it's done.